All right. Good morning to all, and may the Lord give us enlightenment today as the word comes forth. Thank God for you all and for the opportunity to come before you. I'm coming to you today concerning called by God. We are called by God. And first of all, I'd like to uh, share 1 Peter 2 and 9. Thank you, Lord. (laughs) 1 Peter 2 and 9 says that we are a holy generation. Well, let me start first of all. But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who call you out of darkness and to his marvelous light. We who were once not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. We use this scripture a lot. We hear a lot about it. He called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. So when he called us out of darkness into his marvelous light, we can say this, I can now see. I can now see. I'm no longer in darkness, but I am God's marvelous light. And that means everything to us. That means salvation is in this scripture. Because once we were not a people, but now we are a people. So it started our lives going in a new direction because we can see. Glory be to God. And in uh, Ephesians 1, 8, he opened the eyes of our understanding. This is what the scriptures say on that. <clears throat> that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? And what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us who believe according to the working of his mighty power. This is a very powerful scripture. The eyes of our hearts have been enlightened, been opened up. That is our heart. The eyes of our hearts have been opened so that we can see. You and I, we can see today. What do we see? What is the ability to be able to see about? I believe one example of what happens when we can see that our lives can affect others so that they too can see. We're all in this together. An example of that is when Paul and Silas were shut up in the inner courts of prison. As they were praying and singing songs, spiritual songs, God's word said that the prison doors flung open and the chains of all the prisoners was loosed. When we are able to see we don't affect just ourselves, but we also affect others. And that should be our prayer today 
is that my life, the life that I lead in Christ Jesus, it is helping to open the doors for others to see. We all can see when we acknowledge what Jesus, what God has done through his son Jesus for us. We are no longer in darkness, so therefore (laughs) we can see. I'm stressing that because now we can see. We are able to affect others' lives in such a way because of the way we live, because of the way we allow the Spirit of God as we are walking in the light. Jesus is in the light. The word said we are the light of the world. We are not hidden anymore in darkness. Hallelujah, Jesus. But we are walking in the light today because Jesus Christ is in the light. And I thank and praise God that this was only touching on what the callings of God in our lives. There are many callings. And I thought I could share with you this morning a few of them. But I realized after I got into the message that I was only going to be limited to this particular, these particular scriptures. So this message is to be continued. Thank you, Lord. It is to be continued. The call of God on our lives. Because surely there are many calls he has called us. We will talk about that at another time. I believe God is willing that he would uh, just show us how in ways that we are called. We're called to ministry. We're called uh, to to be, um, as the scriptures say, we are called to, um, many are called, rather, but few are chosen. I really want to see why few are chosen. If many are called, and this the uh, Spirit of the Lord will speak to us concerning that. But I want to pray. I want to pray because um, my prayer is that we would be um, open to this discussion being continued. Father, I thank you for this day and hour. I thank you, O oh God, that you have given us insight. We are no longer in darkness, hallelujah, Jesus, but we are walking in the light. May we walk in the light of our calling as it was with Paul and Silas. So powerful, chains of all the prisoners came loose, hallelujah. That is what our lives, we want our lives to be. That we, as in Ephesians, in in 2 Corinthians 3, 2, that our lives be known as and read by all men. This is the life that we want to lead. Our lives are to be an epistle to be read and known of all men. So we're we're looking to that to be the thing that we can go forward in. This enlightenment that is the enlightenment in that means insight. And I thank you, Lord, that my prayer is that I could take others along with me. Hallelujah, Jesus. So I thank the Lord for this day and hour. May the Lord open in, up your eyes so you can see. We see, we see, we see. We see because 
We are no longer in darkness, but we are in the light. Thank you for being on this call today. And God willing, we will pick it up again. Thank you, Lord. 